Hello, thank you for joining us. We're still in Isaiah 43. We want to move on to verse 20. It said, the wild beasts will honor me. The wild beasts will honor me. I'm going to try to make this a quick story. Uh, many, many, many years ago, I mean, really like many years ago now, um, I had a flat tire not too far down the road. And there I was. Um, you know, you, you, back in the old days, you had a bumper jack. And I had everything except the four-way lug wrench to take, the, take it off, take the lugs off. Well, a friend of my dad's lived right across the street. Well, I went to walk across the street, and what happens? What I thought was a ceramic dog turned out to be a real dog. So there he is, the dog chases me. I'm, you know, I'm going to do the man, bone man thing. I'm going to run like crazy. So there I am, I'm running. You know, that dog turns around and goes back home, but just like that, out of another yard, boom, another dog comes and chases me, and then another dog chases me, and I'm running down this road in the middle of the night. Finally, a guy that I didn't know happened to drive up, put his window down, go, where are you going? But before that, the best part of the story was when I thought I had reached the point where all the dogs were tired and all the dogs had stopped chasing me. I started to slow down a little bit, and something touched me on the shoulder. And at that point, I take off running even faster than before, only to realize that what touched me on my shoulder was my necktie. <laughs> so, finally, gentleman rolls up. I go to another person, it's a friend of mine's house. I get, her husband has a four-way lug wrench. She takes me up and get the tire change, life goes on. See, the dog's chasing me. Now I realize. In my spiritual life, I don't have to worry about the wild beast because the wild beast honor the Lord. We have to be, and the wild beast now won't be a, in our spiritual lives, it won't be a dog. Uh, it'll be a person that talks about us, talks about our belief systems. Those wild beasts are those who are looking to tear us apart spiritually. But those wild beasts, have a short span. They will honor the Lord. That's what our word tells us. So thanks be to God that we have a God that will subdue the wild beast in our lives. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.